Meta, formerly known as Facebook, is no longer the world's top 10 most valuable companies, at least not one of them. It's now in 11th place behind Tencent. That's according to Bloomberg. The tech company's share price is down after an earnings report two weeks ago revealed stagnating user growth. Starting today, Amazon Prime will be raising its rates for new subscribers. The annual cost will increase from $119 to $139, while its monthly rate will go up $2. Currently, Prime members will see, or rather, current Prime members will see the new higher price after March 25th, or whenever their membership renews. And in today's deep dive, tensions between Russia and Ukraine appear to be having a negative effect on U.S. markets, with nervous investors dumping stocks. The Dow Jones dropped more than 600 points yesterday in its worst day of 2022, while both the S&P 500 and Nasdaq fell by at least 2 percent. So here to discuss this is Paul Christopher. He is the head of global market strategy for Wells Fargo Investment Institute. Thanks for joining us. Who would who would imagine that what's happening in Ukraine would start to have an impact on the markets here? How is the situation in in eastern Ukraine affecting both both global, both global and U.S. markets? And what do you expect to see if Russia does in fact invade? Yeah, the situation in Eastern Europe is serious and the risks have risen of invasion. That's why the markets are choosing now to respond. If there were to be an invasion, I'm thinking a full scale mechanized with tanks invasion, that would be negative for equities here in the U.S., even though it's many miles away. Uh, and it would be positive for commodity prices. So we think it would still be worse for Europe than for the U.S., uh, but uh, but it would be negative for equity prices as we as we would have to wait to see what the impact of an invasion would be. So why uh, you would know, that in the, be? In the so for somebody like me, just explain why it would be negative for equities. Well, in the first place, uh, you're you're starting a war in Europe uh, for the first major time in uh, in uh, what almost 80 years, uh, over 80 years, uh, and so people would worry about the scale. Will it just be Ukraine? Will it go to Moldova? Will it go to the Baltics? Uh, that will put, push uh, equity prices down. Then there's the pressure on the European economy, and it's connected to the global economy. So that will help push prices down here in the U.S. and around the world. Right. That makes sense. So then what advice do you have for people who are already starting to worry about the impact that all of this uncertainty may have on their investments? Look, what you want to do is stay focused. Uh, typically, these conflicts, first, you have to see how, um, what's the scope of it. Will it just be Ukraine? We think so. Probably, and then after that, you have to see. Well, all right, what, what will be the worst part of it after after the you know with the peak in the fighting? Uh, and when we start to see the answers to those two questions, then we'll start to see the markets bottom a little bit. The focus that we really want investors to keep is on the positive U.S. economy. We're coming out of COVID, we think here sooner than expected, and we think this year is going to be a good year for the U.S. economy. U.S. should outperform, and if you're looking for a hedge in the against the war in Ukraine, potentially. That would be commodities. Commodities. So is that where people should be throwing their money? Yeah, we've been there for better than a year now, favoring the U.S. and favoring commodities. We've been underweight uh, in Europe uh, in most portfolios. So, you know, really, that's the way we think to maintain here, not to go out and, and really change the portfolio a lot. Yeah, that's always good. That's the, the best advice, especially for someone like me who really doesn't know anything about the stock market. Just sit tight and don't look at your investments, at least not now. Uh, Paul Chris. Well, stay focused on the economy. That's where you want to look. OK, that's, that's a positive factor. I, I like that. I, I, I like a little positivity on a Friday, Paul Christopher. Thank you so much. <laughs> OK.